stream. Oh, did you make it across the bridge? I made a tiny bit of progress. Yeah, that that one shitty bridge with the frenzy enemies, and there's more in here too. God. Those things suck. I have decided that I hate frenzy. Yeah. It's such a dumb mechanic because it the way that it like keeps building up after you've already been exposed to it, even after the enemy's like dead. It's just like okay, but actually I'm gonna I'm gonna black out the screen here because there's uh, or it's gonna go back to the art. <laughs> I pulled a lever, because I was like, oh, this is like, I, I like got across that bridge, and I was like, oh, there's a lever here, I'll pull this lever, and uh, it'll be like a loop around. But then a fucking, like, cutscene started happening. Oh, shit. So I'm going to now play that cutscene. What a hand, I still like Oh, this. and there were spiders with human heads. Oh, but they weren't the Patches heads. They're not Patches, they got, like, uh... Hair, like, bowl cut. They look like one of the Three Stooges, I don't know which one that is. Is that Mo? Mo? Curly? Know. It's definitely not Curly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's... Uh, and Dopey? Is that the name? <laughs> I don't even fucking know. Larry, Curly, and Moe, I think is their names. But here, I saw this switch and I was like, okay. And then the fucking like, most unexpected cutscene happened. Oh, yeah. First you took a little gander down the pit. There's a lot of eyes. There's a lot of eyes. But this is in Murgo's like, tower or whatever. Oh. Was so I was something like, down there? I was like, oh shoot. Yeah, we'll see it. This, I, I don't know what the fuck this is. I think this might have been something to do with like the thing that was generating all that light that was frenzying. But look at this fucking meat one. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it just like yossed it down below. So I, I think maybe that was the thing that was like shooting out just like beams. Oh yeah. Beams of that, that frenzy light. Hmm. You know? Because we saw that like big lantern. That was frenzying us? I don't know, maybe. maybe. But we're gonna go check out that meat wad. Yeah, I wanna go down to the, the ball. Thank you to PS4 for having a feature where you can fucking save video. Oh yeah, and we can drop down there, but I'm gonna go open a door here. And there was just, all these bodies had uh, Great One's wisdom on them. Oh, okay. Wow. So I guess they're wise! Oh, there was a couple of like, fun, funky bloodstone, gemstone ass things too, I guess. But I was like, I'm not opening a single damn another thing. Oh, I look. wonder where we got the iron door key. I don't even know. <laughs> it must have been a while ago. Yeah. Oh, is this just back in the nightmare? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what? This is a loop around into the nightmare. With, with Mika Lash. Oh, wait, is it actually? Oh, yeah, shit, this is the is. very beginning. No, that's not the most efficient shortcut. Yeah. I guess we still sh could explore in the nightmare, because we kind of booked it through. I actually looked around in the nightmare. I did a couple, just a couple things off stream. Yeah. And uh, there was a rune. The, the only other thing, it was like moon, moon require more blood echoes. And it was like a stronger version of the, uh, oh, no. I guess, the, the like intensity of them is how faded they are, maybe? I, don't, I never really thought about that until just now. But I'm gonna drop down to the place, because I don't know what the fuck that fucking meat wad was, and I want to figure out what the hell's going on. We were popping off about Bastion's awesome music. Yeah! At the beginning. And the awesome Ooh. grizzly old man. Blo oh wait, that shit- <gasps> That's like the fully upgrade material. And I, I looked at the Insight shop, and we can now buy Blood Rocks for, uh... 60 insight a piece. Holy moly. <laughs> Which is pretty expensive. Also, I don't want to jump down there. <laughs> Even yeah. though that's where the meat wad went. Okay. Oh! Oh shit, it's this guy! Hell? It's this guy! This is that, uh, that one hunter. Oh fuck. He's just sitting there. That's creepy. Be like a Harry Dean Stanton over here. Okay. <laughs> oh! Fucking Habibi Hamoud just popped into existence. <laughs> He's like, hello. Fuck. Get away from me, Harry Dean Stanton. <laughs> William H. Macy's chasing us. <laughs> Oh wait, actually there's something down here in this room that I want to check out. This was the- this was like the other thing that I found. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember- we, we did run through this room at we one point. We did briefly go through this room, but we didn't go down this elevator. Oh no! Oh, Habibi Hamoud. We're going into oh the abyss. Oh my god, look at how scary this is. Just you wait, and there's like a big- do you see like a big silhouette there, too? Yeah? With like eyes? I came down here and I was like, Oh! <laughs> I'm so worried I'm just gonna fall and die. I don't see it anymore. Was there not like a uh, giant? There it is. Oh yeah, oh god. Oh maybe this is the meat one! Is it? Is it? It's the meat one! Right? Oh god, it's totally a meat one! Oh and it's not, it doesn't have the big chains. Fuck me! Oh, what is that? Did the eye follow us? Oh, I don't like it. I think this is the giant meat one that we dropped, it, actually. Maybe it is. Fuck, it's Wow, okay. 
Oh, we actually, we found it. That was very fast, and it was like the two things that I wanted to investigate were linked. Oh, it's like a big brain. It's got a, like, brain stem. Do we kill it? <laughs> I, we must. Do you think we should? Yeah. Right, it's just here. Oh, God. It's got a lot of health. It's got a lot of health. Oh my god, that it does. Chat, if this is something that's gonna like ruin <laughs> the video game, let us know. We must kill If him. not, we're murdering this thing. He doesn't have like the chain wrapped around him anymore. I don't know. Maybe it's not? But I mean, what? I mean, I kind of feel like there's only one giant meat blood. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you can do something. Oh, that's sad. It won't ruin the game. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll leave it alone. Yeah, they say it's pretty like obscure too, so. Neat. Yeah, I looked up, uh, well that was interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> I looked up just a tiny bit of, uh, info. Cause, th th I, I gotta be honest, at the end of last stream when it was just, oh, when it was just like, hey, end the game. Oh yeah. I, that that kind of threw me for a loop. I was genuinely not expecting that sort of thing. Yeah. And apparently, when he gave you that choice and you, like, rejected it, if you had accepted it, he would have instantly killed you in a cutscene and it would have rolled credits. Wow. And made us reset, so I'm really glad wow. that you didn't do that. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember actually in the moment I was kind of peeved, because I I think I said like, oh, we should just like back out of this option or out of this choice. That's right. And then you hit like reject, and I was like, oh man, oh fuck, what if that like screwed us over? But that was the good thing to do, Oof. apparently. And overarchingly, the one thing uh, that I have figured out is that we need to find three of those thirds of umbilical cords uh, and consume. We okay. need to eat the um, eat the tasty cord. Wow. I, I learned this from another from watching another stream where all of chat was telling them to eat the tasty cord. Eat the tasty and I, cord. And I, I just keep thinking about that sentence now. <laughs> but apparently that will give us the uh, the true ending or like the best ending or whatever. So I think we should go for that. Okay, let's do it. Let's see if the frenzy thing is still happening. Because I'm curious to see if that like meat wad was uh, doing that. Oh, that's that. right. I think it might have been because there was it like totally a was. big red light, right? Yeah. Also, I lost like a million fucking souls to that guy off stream. I was so Screw mad. That guy. <laughs> yeah, I used to be like in that tower yeah. or something. All right, sweet. I think it was the big ball of meat because it kind of looks like a bigger version of those like cauliflower guys that we were the, like frenzy dudes with a bunch of eyes. Yeah, true. Interesting. I wonder if like putting it because we, we put it into like the darkness, so that maybe like turns off the frenzy. Yeah, light. I guess because we were able to just walk right up to it, or maybe the fall like hurt its frenzy gland. <laughs> it's like, oof. not my gland. Okay, I guess that was that. Fuck. I, I thought that was gonna be a lot more. I'm just uh, whatever. I'm just used to when we went into that one random cave and ended up on a two-hour-long tangent. Yeah. <laughs> three guys. Do you remember the three? Let's go do the three guys. Three guys. I don't want to do the freaking gun hunter. Uh, yeah. We could try to cheese him. We could. I don't know if we can buy poison knives yet. Fuck, I actually should have checked. Also, these things really pop into place. Yeah, the amygdala popped into play, too. What are you killing the other ones? I don't know. I tried hitting one that was, uh, that was like, kind of near my reach. Ah! when I was getting that cathedral key, because it was near one of those. There was one that was, uh, I don't know if we ever noticed this, but there was one that was looking at us. Like, when we walked past oh. it, it's, it would, like, adjust its gaze to look right at us. That as, is cool. As though now uh, we're being acknowledged by the Eldritch Horrors. So, depending on which one of these doors you go in, you're gonna get ganked at different levels. Oh! So, uh, I, I figured this out off-stream. Are you gonna keep following me? Thank you, so. You pile of fucking basket case goo! Oh. That's when everyone in this area had the three different doors, and we kind of like opened them all, and we're like, what is the point of that? Yeah. So if you go from, it's like if you go from one door, you get janked, you get ganked by all three janked. Uh, if you go through another door, you get ganked by two, and then if you go this way, you get the jump on all three of them. Oh, interesting. I think that's clever. I like that. Yeah. I, I when I like was sort of piecing that together, I was like, oh. What the? He's got a leg sticking out his ass. Okay. Damn, I don't know if we've seen these guys. I think we have briefly, but we never saw the legs sticking out their ass. <laughs> Maybe. Yahoo! I didn't even really do that much. Oh, god damn it! I forgot to actually get the backstab. Shit. Oh. I was uh, too excited. Oh shit! And I'm not, I'm not on the sock lever. Oh well. We got, we got the the rapier. I guess I'm fighting this guy with this thing. Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah. He's not taking a lot of- ah! Oh shit, these oh. guys aggroed! Aww, oh, that guy's got the cannon too. 
Yeah, I do remember these guys. Well, fuck. I was hoping to get the drop on them. It's the three goons from Dark Souls. Oh, God, yeah, there's a Dark Souls 2 episode that's coming out soon that will feature three dudes. Okay, well, this sucks. I thought I could get the fucking dunk on them. Okay, I guess I wonder they're... if you can, like, shoot a gun at the one and, like, lure it back out. Yeah, possibly. We could definitely, uh... Oh! oh! We could definitely leave this area and come back with them unaggroed. I didn't even realize that guy was standing there. Does he have one of the hangers? I don't know. Also, that lantern, apparently, is just perma-fucked. Oh, interesting. Which, is, I, yeah, happens to stumble upon that information. All right, you take a, take a swing at it, I guess. Yes, that's right. <laughs> I really thought I had outsmarted the game by... Going through that one door. I think you. I still think you have. I... I'm gonna try it. All right. Yeah. If you get like the successful backstab and shit, oh, I think you'll have a better chance. And also, if you don't die. Yeah. I don't. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna try the backstab. Okay. Wow. I'm gonna lure him away. Oh. That's my all right. strategy. They might all aggro as a group. They might be blood brothers. It could be. So I'm gonna yeah. go the same way you went. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. In the Mario and Luigi games, when you go into battle, it goes, Let's go! Okie dokie! Wow. Then when you close your DS, it goes, Bye bye! <laughs> that shit blew my mind <laughs> when I was younger. And then you open it up and it's like, ba 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 And you're like, <gasps> Whoa! <gasps> it knows. <laughs> Must have been the wind. Nice. Yeah. See, I think that might have just aggroed all three of them. But Let's see. we'll see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, they did that girl. Oh, right. shit! <clears throat> did it? They're soul brothers. I definitely saw the little guy, yeah. It seems like uh, maybe the third one is not there. Whoa! Whoa. That was an interesting... Focus on the other one. Yeah. yeah. The other one! <laughs> this is such a clusterfuck. I'd say that this environment is not a good place to oh, fight. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Well, God damn, he came up and backstabbed me. Folks. Okay, so they do all get aggroed at once. Dang it, worth a try. So maybe then we can just. I mean, I guess you get, you do get the one backstab. I'm, I'm gonna way. give it one more shot. Yeah. Don't worry. Everybody and their mother has told us to do the DLC before beating the game. And we will. I'm excited because I heard the DLC is really good. Mm -hmm. I looked at like a list of like how many lanterns are at each gravestone. Just to like get an idea of how far we had progressed, and we're like we're pretty far, but the the DLC headstone has like a thousand fucking lanterns in it. Is so. that the nightmare one? Yeah, honestly, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, this is easy, but uh, this game, I, I I was relaxed by how uh, much easier than Sekiro it was. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm glad. I, Sekiro, I got discouraged a lot. Uh, but this one, it was it was a lot easier to manage. Wow, look at that. The sneeze potentized the backstab like four absolutely times. absolutely did. That's absolutely how it works. Fuck you! Alright. He did the same death scream as us. Ah! Holy ah! Oh, dude. Don't kill me. I'm just a man with a lot of cheese. Wow. Wow, cheese is your random word? Wow. Get the yeah. fuck out of here, what are you gonna say next? Pie? Pie? Come on. Lucky charm. What is this, elementary school? It's because I immediately de Ooh. my brain defaulted to nobody has as many friends as the man with many cheeses. Ah. Okay. That lightning move is bad. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool, but it's, uh, but yeah, it's not it's effective. Not do a lot. Ah! You survive? You dare survive? Fuck. Okay, I think these guys might not be able to- yeah! Oh shit! They might not be able to leave very easily. That worked? Oh, I was gonna say. That was hokey. Oh! That's hokey, and I liked old Jontron better. The one guy can't leave, but this guy can. Yeah, privileged. Oh, he's got the axe. I'll take an axe. And my axe! Ah! Like holding up like a can of axe body spray. <laughs> I bet that's like a fucking like 2009 ass meme. That does feel like a 2009. All right, well I killed this guy in the lamest way possible. Sure. Give me your item. Oh man, that's a lot of fucking bullets. Twenty quicksilver bullets. All right. Uh, I, why did it give us to give those to us in like four and sixteen? I don't know. I don't understand that. There's probably some some reasoning for it. 
Yeah. Or maybe it's the ones, I think we established it's like the ones that are going into storage. Oh, okay, so I we got that's... four, because that's how many we used, and it's yeah. just going into storage. Just us walking up to the bank teller. Yep. I'd like two dozen red roses, please. Hello, Hachib. I'd like to dip, make a deposit. Into your ass, Hajib! No. <laughs> wow, somebody said nice cage helmet, cage head. Hey, ah, that hoits. Hey, stinky bone face. Ah. I've played a game with, like, stealth mechanics in a long time. Yeah, let alone a good one. God damn it. Screw up again. Metal Gear Solid 5. I don't, don't even think of, of that game as actually having stealth. I, all I think of is, like, the fucking, like, Decoy balloons, like <laughs> strapped to the side of a car, like driving down the highway. Oh shit! Driving that little weird looking like, mech robot. This guy's no chump. <laughs> That's gotta be. No, I was convinced. I was also convinced. Good dodge. You're using a lot of our astuce here. Come on, you scum! Flamethrower. This guy's got a lot of bullets too. I, I bet. Yeah, bullet out of his mind. Honestly, I was hoping that killing these guys, like we just did, would uh, open this bonfire back up. That's uh, like I, that's sort of why I looked it up. But uh, but no, they're just there. No, I think I think that bonfire is permanently fucked. Sad. Okay, well we got the guys though. That's good. What the fuck? It's it just sucks because it lists it on the list, but we can't ever teleport to it again. Like, hey. Huh? You wish to reawaken? We're not even... We're already awake, though, right? Is yeah. this not the waking world? We're reawakening. I don't even get it. Oh, yeah. the threaded cane cannot be parried. Whoa. Is that true? Uh, somebody might be making a joke. It said, Yahar Ghoul Steel folded one million times. <laughs> yep, 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 Uh, let's see. I'll have to look at the list. I feel like maybe we go kill the dude in the castle. In the big cathedral? The- oh, no, ca Castle Kanehurst. Castle Kanehurst, not the gun guy. <laughs> okay. Uh... The gun I think, guy still scares me. I think we should check that out, oh, but I want to go Go to, um, the first floor sick room. Okay. Why? We should go check on that one lady who was like... Oh, I'm turning into a beast. Something's happening to me! <laughs> when I was doing, like, online stuff, there was that old guy in the wheelchair who's like, Go fight the spider! You remember that? Yeah. Uh, I kept seeing people online killing that guy, so I don't know if we should kill that guy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he gives you, but we might want to kill that guy. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's this dead A. Dead Whoa. A no. Somebody, okay, somebody was saying, they were like, I haven't played this game before, but I'm theorizing that these A Lamaus were the people that you sent here, and now that we've reloaded the area and its corpse is still there, and it hasn't respawned, Oh. I'm thinking that might actually be the case. Oh. The people right? turned into Alamouse? Yeah. Interesting. Possibly. Like, I love how the crows have the same idle animation and it's always synced up. Oh yeah, even the ones in the background. Yeah, they're doing a little synchronized beak dance <laughs> there. So I bet that lady is also going to be an Alamouse. Yeah, look at that. There's another one. Dang. Just chilling there. Crumpled. Yeah, he's dabbing. dabbing. Um, oh, oh, look at that! Or wait, no, that's a different one. Never mind. We already She's saw up, that. yeah. Uh, you have to go out there? and then to the left. Okay. I guess we can kill her if we want to kill random we people. We certainly could. We almost killed that big eye. Oh, she's just still oh. here. Look at this! Oh. God, I'm just nope, she's the same still thing. saying the same I shit. Do we kill her? <laughs> oh. oh, okay. Thanks, lady. Thanks, Iosefka. Yep, yep, yep. Do you want me to kill her? Kill her. Kill her? I want her dead. Really? I want her dead. Okay. All right. Let's kill her. Yay! Yay! Oh. Whoa! I'm glad you said that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Maybe we could have got that some other way too. Oh my god! Why did she have that? <laughs> I don't know. Holy shit! Why is it divided into thirds too? <laughs> Andrew's got his head in his hands oh right now. Oh my god! That surprised the fuck out of me. I thought that was just gonna be like, you got the dead lady room. <laughs> well, did we know? We got some delicious cord. <laughs> Alright, well, I think the people in this fucking place turned into Alamouse, like the guy that was all disgruntled. I think we might have been able to uh, talk to him earlier, but we just didn't. 
we didn't like get the opportunity or we didn't take the opportunity, so now we only saw him as an A Lamau. Interesting. So like if we'd sent everybody here, would they all be A Lamaus? I guess. I'm glad we decided arbi completely arbitrarily, by the way, <laughs> to send everyone to the church. Okay, wow, I'm really glad you A decided to Kill that come chick. decided to uh, direct me here and B decided to murder that chick. Alright, one more third of course. <laughs> I, I wanna go to the Cathedral Ward. Cause I we got, I got that upper cathedral key. Oh yeah, good idea. Yeah. It was really easily. I, I just looked at something in uh chat and it just fucked up my sentence. Uh, out of the term thought, that's what I was looking at. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it was it was really or no, it was really easily missable is what I was trying to say. I just ended it easily. Oh, that lady's gone. Okay. Where the, cool. the heck? Where is she? There's like blood on the ground and she's gone. It's like oh. bile or something. Oh god. <laughs> One of the four humors. Hmm. Alright, let's just chat with these people. Cool. Cool. Nothing? Great. <laughs> Old lady. Sobbing. Oh, well, she's the one that, like, gives us sedatives. Yes. I share my share of wood. Oh, yeah, can we just get infinite sedatives from this bitch? I was thinking about sedatives, too, with, with like, Frenzy. I was like, it's kind of a dumb mechanic, because it doesn't even give you resistance to yeah. it. It's like, you have to use it every single time you get frenzied. That's, but, that's uh, dumb. But when, if you can get unlimited from her, that's, like, a little better, maybe. Okay, so I think it's somewhere up here. It's in this, like, there was, like, this tower we went into. Uh... And and we were kind of like, okay, what the fuck was the point of that? At oh, one there go. Point. Yeah, there there was a there was a door. Yeah, that we couldn't get through at the very top. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, is that a oh? For a second, I thought that was like a unique hunter. For a second, and... I don't remember that brick frog being there. Yeah, he was there. This was right. This was right around the time where we decided to explain the term brick frog. Maybe so. The only other area that we like, we have the DLC, and then we have Forsaken Castle Canehurst. And then I think everything else is just gonna be sort of going through old areas and Miss, getting the things we missed, getting shit we missed, yeah. Which we're st I, I'm still on the fence about New Game Plus. We might do it. Yeah. But uh, I'm decided. Yeah, de maybe depending on how much we end up doing in this game, or if we get the best ending or whatever. We've already got two of three of the uh, umbilicus. umbilicus. Well, we're here. Upper th what cathedral. What is that? What? I, if we walk up to it and the word talk appears, I'm gonna freak out. Is it a cat? Oh. There's a little baby, it's a little slug. Oh! Oh, oh it's gonna turn around and start attacking us, isn't it? Hello. Hi, boop -boop. Do it. Oh, it's so pathetic. Oh. Can't kill that. It's the eraser head. Ah! It's the eraser head baby. Oh shit, no, I don't even have sedatives on. Ouch! Sad. Frenzy's dumb, frenzy's dumb. Well, sorry, Eraserhead baby, but you must die after what you've done. <laughs> Gnarled trees. I wonder if we're gonna get, like, a cool loop around. Because there's there's a couple doors. There was, like, that one door in Old Yarnum. Whoa, the tree's moving. Huh. Ominous? Uh, very ominous. Maybe it's just, it must have been the wind. It must have been the wind. Uh, oh, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah, there's a couple doors. That we, oh, I'm Zorbald. I'm totally Zorbald right now. Oh, turn around. Uh, there's a couple doors that we haven't looped around to yet. Oh, there's a lantern. Oh, the lantern. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Is this like I a mean, hole? This is gonna be a hole. God thing. damn it! If this is the yes. cave again. Fuck me. Yeah. It's never when I'm expecting it to be I'm a whole really thing. Ready. But it's a whole thing. Also, uh, yeah, somebody, somebody said eyes on the lantern. And somebody in the comments of one of the last VODs mentioned that uh, the eyeballs on the lantern show up after you get a certain amount of insight. Oh, when they, they hold up the lantern? Yeah. Okay, I was wondering because I saw one time somebody had one, and then I saw other times they didn't, and so I wasn't yeah. sure what that meant, but... I think there's only a few different uh, things that actually get changed. It's like kind of a... Oh, God. There's so many Eraser Red Babies. They're all Where just... Are, yeah, they're going towards... Crows? Gay baby jail. Gay baby oh, jail. No! Oh, no! No! No, I'm gonna have to pull the hunter's mark to the lantern that's like a foot away. Oh, my. This happened- oh! <gasps> that shit happened once Ooh. before off stream, and it was fucking hilarious. I'm putting it in the jank video. There was a trolley. a trolley thing, and it was like where the horse goes, there's like those two things on either <laughs> yeah. side of the horse. I got stuck in there! And you're like, no! Like I was no. <laughs> tethered to the fucking thing. This guy's got a scythe. We want your scythe. Give us your scythe. Okay. Wow. That really didn't look like it was gonna carry properly at all, but all right. Hit with him. Into the tomb. Oh. Oh shit. Fire oh, stuff. Oh, that's cool. 
these guys suck. Get out of here. They're the ones who suck our inside yep. out, right? Yep. They take our. They fucking. Oh, they, do, they poop everywhere. They swarm everywhere. And when they do that blue spell, that's like a binding spell. So you gotta get the fuck out of there. Oh, okay. Oh no! Ah, oh, shit. Okay, well. We're getting sucked. We're getting sucked. Whoa, right, right through the head cage! <laughs> Insight. No. Yeah, that's really not a big deal. Somebody, people were saying like, oh, you need a hundred insight for something later. I think it'll be fine because we've got. It's pretty easy for us to get it. Yeah, and also we've got a shit ton of. Uh, oh, true. Madman's knowledge. Oh yeah. Great one's wisdom, and I guess the umbilical cord will give us three insight every time we eat one of those too. Oh, so. actually. Yeah. It's or it said uh, gain great insight. Oh, hello, my friend. There's a dude over there. Hey, you! Do, 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 open the door. Open up. It's locked. Oh. He's like a three-year-old who got locked in the bathroom and can't figure no. out how to open oh, the that's door. that's awful. So you have to call the fireman to come bust down the door. That's terrible. It's just like, you dumb fuck. <laughs> if you weren't such a dumb fuck, this could be avoided. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Whoa. What? <laughs> what the? Okay. Wow. The rumpus room in here. Also, cheese. <laughs> good. <laughs> Honestly, good. These guys have blue eyes. I was really not thinking that the one who, like, made the thing fall down would get like crushed under the thing, but he was just fine. Yeah. So I nearly missed him, I guess. I thought that was a boss. These guys are kinda hard. Yep. They, I, I'm wondering what the blue eyes are all about. Makes him a white dragon. Woo. Get that joke? Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, oh Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm talking Yu-Gi-Oh. Even, even <laughs> cheesing these guys is hard. Yeah, what the hell? No, I'm not doing it very uh, patiently, to be fair. Luckily, the power of the, the level two hype train. Ooh, ah. Ooh, another chunk! God damn, we're getting a lot of chunks! Get some chunks. Turn that freaking lantern. Down, down, down. Oh, right, because the chandelier's fucking gone. <laughs> chandelier's gone! Down, 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 down. I have the entirety of Brody Quest. All the solos committed to memory. Yeah, that's impressive, actually. Like, I could not tell you when the solos were. Well, it's just because I've listened to it so many times in my in my youthhood. The best part is when he comes out of the sun playing the guitar. And he's, it's got like that MIDI guitar sound of like, bow, bow, bow. Oh. oh. It's actually a sick solo, too. Yeah. How was that? It's an insight guy, I think. Yeah. Anywhere. Not gonna give him the fucking time of day. Yeah, it's really embarrassing, and I would never do it for anyone, but. Oh, uh, I could definitely sing along with the entirety of it, like <laughs> Weird Al's Yank or Weird Al Yankovic's Albuquerque. Oh yeah, I could do that one. That's the binding spell that you don't want to work on. Because then you just have to like sit there. Oh, blindfold cat. What? Uh, you just have to like sit there while they go. I'm gonna grab you. I'm, I'm gonna fucking grab you. And you're like, no. We need to use that uh, that old transform attack. We never use it, and uh, apparently it's just better for the saw spear. Yeah, or for any weapon. I use it for the one all the time. Pearl slug. Oh, well, yeah. Is there a bunch of, like, worms on the ground, or is it just pieces of the chandelier? Uh, I will investigate after- Fuck! Oh, shit, we forgot to repair. After I whoop this wolf's ass. Literally. Oh, you thought I was being figurative, my friend. Literally. Whoop his ass. That's just embarrassing. No, oh. Oh, it's, it's the just pieces. pieces of the shattered chandelier. Can we open up the big door? God damn it, Scott. Whole thing. Ritual Blood 5. Oh, that's nice. <sighs> Locked with a lock! It won't budge. Look, Amnesia. <laughs> it won't budge. <laughs> I don't know if I remember that happening. Just like every door that was locked, it said it wouldn't budge, but you could like budge the hell out of it. it. <laughs> Somebody said, how are you even supposed to know where to go in this game? Ah, good question. You kind of, it's, it's ex exploration. It's a metroidvania. I, I think people uh, don't really acknowledge that. Oh my god. That must unlock some shit at the shop. Ooh, maybe that gives us uh, poison knives at the, at the shop. Somebody said they, they've never played a Soulsborne and it's f very foreign to them. And I will say, I uh, watching somebody play Bloodborne or Dark Souls or whatever, when you already kind of know what's going on, is, is a much more enriching experience, because just watching it, you're just like, I don't know what the fuck is happening, <laughs> yeah. or what any of this is. It's like, you, it, the games kind of force you to like learn about them through trial and error and doing shit over and over. Okay, well, I'm thoroughly befuddled here. Do you know of anywhere else to go? Um, I don't know if my, I have, like, fully decided here, that I need to you play for a sec. Okay, I'll play for I a sec. I need to fucking fuff my shirt. He's oh, fuffing his shirt. I'm fuffing. He's fuffing. I'm gonna just quickly... This is like a fat guy thing. Fuffing? People probably know what I'm talking about, where you grab, like, the bottom of your, 
shirt and you sort of like fuff it back and forth to get the wind on your sweat. <laughs> Love to fuff. Love to fuff. Big fuff fan. Peeking in every nook and cranny because I know how much these games love to just have shitty little toys. <laughs> they love them. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Tank there. those spells, <laughs> bitch. Oh. What the? Hello, my friend. Help. <laughs> okay, what the fuck was with the L, man? What was the L, man? L is real! Did you hear about that? Oh yeah, that was that shit was hilarious too. The whole thing where people were saying, "Oh, it was discovered 24 years and one month after the game was released," or something. That was a massive stretch. Yeah. Like that's that's that a one. cute little thing, but don't take that seriously, <laughs> folks. That's that's nothing. But Luigi being in uh, in Mario 64 is pretty cool. It's, oh. I'm just look. excited about you. Take him. Go. I'm taking Fucking go. Uh, the. Uh, I'm ready for Mother 3, or Mother 64, to leak. I think we already talked about That's right, yeah. We yeah. talked briefly okay. about it. Okay, no And it, like, existed, but it's vanished. Yeah. Yeah, the L thing was hilarious. I saw some, like, video where somebody compiled all, like, the 4chan comments and, like, them putting it together, and it was very funny. Rank the Souls games plus Bloodborne plus Sekiro. Gosh. I would say, personally, and this is just me, here's, here's my list. Dark Souls 2 at the bottom. Better than most adventure games out there. But it's still kind of like, yeah. It's like the lesser Dark Souls game. Then, after that, I would say Sekiro, personally, because it was just a little too fucking daunting for me. It just, it got too difficult for me, and it, I, I liked everything else about it, like the mechanics and the movement and the, the gameplay. I like parrying. It's just when you have to do it, like, a trillion fucking times perfectly for every boss, it's, it's not... It's annoying. It's a little annoying to I'm me. I decided to, like, play through Sekiro yes. more. Yes. I just too. feel like there's, like, a good skill cap. What? Like, you can, you can get better at it, like, if you really practice. Yeah. I think that's the opposite of us. Or, yeah, the good skill cap as in a very high up one. You really gotta I do not understand get the hang these of these guys. guys. Also, you are inside of him. Positioning totally fucked up there. I did not realize that was a grab that he was doing. Mm. So, Dark Souls 2, Sekiro. Then, hard to say, I would say Dark Souls 1 and 3 might tie for the next position. And I would say Bloodborne might be in my new favorite. Yeah. Uh, hard to say. This game does seem a little shorter than the other Dark Souls games, and that's, uh, we haven't played all of it, of course. But, uh, and I'm not one to complain about game length, but it's just, uh, it's a shame, because I really like this one. Yeah. I wish there was more of it, or a second one. I, when fucking Sekiro was teased, oh, do it. Yeah, bitch! It's done. Fully upgraded, it's hell yeah. It's done. Nice. Jeez. Fucking time to whoop some ass. Probably doesn't even do that much better. I uh, might as well level up a time. Oh, and check the store uh, to see if we can buy poison knives because we got that bold dickhead emblem. We did kind of tear ass through this game. Yeah. We, yeah, we went fast. And we're we're gonna go back and explore some areas a little bit here and there. Here and there. Oh hell yeah! Damn. We're pretty costly. But... Costly, but honestly, we have so many like random souls usually. Yeah. So. Absolutely. Okay, why don't we go? So we gotta, eventually we gotta stock up on poison knives and we're gonna cheese the guy in the cathedral. <laughs> I want to. This is the way. At least Sekiro's story is understandable. I, I don't know. I actually, one of the things that felt weaker about Sekiro was, I, I feel like this style of gameplay lends itself really well to that sort of environmental storytelling. And when it was a little more direct in Sekiro, I was kind of like, I don't really give a shit <laughs> about like what's happening or the main character. Or anything, you know, it was it was harder to empathize with Mr. Badass Shadow Lone Wolf character. John Sekiro. It, yeah, it was much easier to empathize with. You are a shitty schlub zombie nothing man, and you'll never amount to anything. <laughs> that was something that I was a lot. It was a lot easier to get into the headspace of, you know. Someone said everyone sucks at dealing with these guys. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, very comforting. I think the shittiest enemy in the game is not these guys though. It's those fucking frenzy. I enemies. Nice! Parried his grab. Chad. Oh! We just got a key? That must be the door downstairs. Downstairs, maybe. Yeah. What the fuck? Let's look at the L. <laughs> Hello! Yeah, oh, talk! Aha! You can talk to him? I have audience with bloody thing. Oh, he's doing He did the L! Make contact. Oh, do oh. the fucking thing! Oh, shit. Do the fucking thing! How do I. Oh, it's the shit. other side of the thing. Oh, shit, like fire paper. The left side? Yes. Aha, okay. You gotta switch it out. Oh. I hate the stupid fucking clitoris. I'm in some trouble on, on the PS4. I hate it. 
It's truly miserable. We have buttons, Sony. Wow, it's tickling your armpit. So I actually happen to know something about this. Yeah. Uh, you should wait and just sit here with the pose. With the pose? Do the I, pose. I, I was wondering. It felt like something to wait and sit and do the pose. But yeah, like, wait and do I was the pose. waiting for something to happen. Nothing happened. It's like this and... Wow, it looks beautiful. It's this and one more boss in the game I have been spoiled on before. Like, long before we started playing this. I think... If you wait long enough, he changes arms, and then something happens. Oh, that's so scary. Yeah. But Dark Souls 1 and 3 are just like, godlike. Godlike games. I would say Dark Souls 1 and 3 and Bloodborne are like the holy trifecta. Oh! Whoa. Alright, now what happens? Maybe we don't need to do it here. Fuck, maybe this is not where we do this. Chat, I give you permission to tell us if this is not the place to do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not the place. Okay, Me. sad, but okay. it is quite nice to be here with our friend. Yeah, it's, it's neat. <laughs> nah, Chief. Okay, that's good to know. We will go do that someplace else. Yeah. I don't even remember how I learned that that, like, YMCA pose was, like, a significant thing, but I, I do remember that. There was, like, something like that in one of the... in Dark Souls, like, 2, right? Uh, Dark Souls 3. Yeah, it had the the dragon. God damn! It, so somebody somebody was saying actually in like the comments of one of the videos or something. They were like, this game didn't sell very well because it's a PS4 exclusive, so they could just reuse all their good ideas in Dark Souls Three, <laughs> which I am definitely starting to see that. I I agree. I still love Dark Souls Three, but uh, there are definitely a lot of ideas in this game that seem to be reused there. Whoa. Nice. Because there was the, there was like the drag, whoa, the dragon, the way of the dragon covenant thing where you like sit cross-legged in a certain way. How did you guys find Upper Cathedral Ward? Well, there was a, are, are you asking like, uh, how did we personally stumble upon it? Because I was looking at a list of the bonfires and I was like, oh, we don't have that. How do we get that key? And I looked it up and it was, uh, there was a really easy to miss. It was, you remember that part where there was that amygdala on a building that was shooting lasers at us and there were like a million fire ladies? Yeah. Uh, there was just like a tiny bit of the fence there that was broken away. Oh. There was a tiny bit of the fence that was like broken away there and uh, we had to like fall down there and then the key was there. Like, uh, we, we did not find this place naturally, no. Also, nice! That's, I love the loop arounds. That's like, yeah. this game nailed the loop arounds mm -hmm. better than any other, better than even Dark Souls 1, which is like the other best one. Yeah. Uh, Dark Souls 1 is like iconic for it. Yeah. And we still haven't played Demon Souls, so I can't rank that yet. That's right. And that is like the first oh! one, right? Hey, Lamau. Uh, kinda, yeah. There's, there's also, uh, there is a series that predates... Dark Souls that was made by From Software called uh it's called like King's Idol or something or like King's Guard uh some shit like that neat cool cool area cool spores in the air uh but I don't think we count that King's Field it's like some old jank shit it looks like fucking System Shock One like freaking like Fallout One or whatever <laughs> where you like it exists but oh whoa oh hey hey Lamau it's the Celestial Emissary. And Boss? This is the other boss that I know the name of. And you know, at the beginning, when I said, like, I know, like, a central conceit of, like, the plot of this game? Yeah. It's that it's got fucking Alamows. So they are literally Alamows. They're, they're celestial. Like, it's the fucking, like, the, the great above, the great beyond. Actually, which one is the celestial? Are they all? This oh. One. Interesting. Wait, it's just. Oh! Oh, it killed me. I did not realize I was so low. Alright, you can like it. find which one it is. Yeah. Wow, so they really are Ayla Mouse. Yeah. So there's also, remember when we first saw the Ayla Mouse, it was in like the random cave, and we don't know, we kind of like didn't go that way. So. I think, I think we did go down that way and it was just a dead a end. dead end? Yeah. Okay. But there were just some random ones in the fucking. In the cave. Yeah. Alright, now I'm playing. But this is the one that I know, and I know it from a meme that I saw. That it showed like the health bar of the celestial emissary, and it had that like three D dancing alien, like the like the little like <laughs> oh, the little three yeah. D like, dancing alien. I know like, exactly what you're talking about. And, and so that's that's how I learned that there are aliens in Bloodborne. Wow. And there was kind of we got some oh god, we got some hints as to as to this stuff. There there's been some like murmurings of like star stuff here, but this is yeah. like the first one of like celestial bitch. And there's like moon murmurings. Moon murmurings. I love their little run. 
Yeah, I guess we just need to find the right one. Oh, that sucks that we don't quite do enough damage. Yeah, to just kill him. To eat him with a heavy attack. You gotta butter him up with a light attack, then toast him with a star punch. <laughs> Get him back, baby. Damn. It's weird that he's just a normal sized, normal looking goon. Yeah, but he's the real one. Maybe he's gonna like change into a big monster. Just like the president. <laughs> Normal size, normal looking goon. I don't know why I made that comparison. What? <laughs> He's just like everyone else to the aliens. They're probably like, wow, they all look the same. Which one's the president? <laughs> I like in the Venture Brothers when they, they would talk about secret president. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. And the invisible civil war that happened that nobody knows about. The second civil war. The invisible war. Yeah, I was talking to my like cousins yesterday. And I was like, you gotta watch the Venture Bros. Oh, let's see the Alamo transformation. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my God, he literally he's, did. He's just big now. He literally did turn into a big alum out. Nice. The same I love their little like grundle. <laughs> That's a good word. Are the little ones still spawning or now that he's big? I think they are, yeah. <laughs> Maybe these are all people that got turned into alum outs. And this is like the real alum out. Alright, well now it's a real boss. Yeah. Oh! I was kinda I was kinda gonna be disappointed if it was just like the 3D model of a normal goon. Yeah. But with more health. <laughs> Okay, bro. I nice. think the strat might be to run around and attract the little gooey goos. I'll make him like chase you all the way. Yeah, and then go get that guy. He's slow, but he's uh, not a lot slower than them, honestly. Yeah, they're also coming up. He's coming up! He's coming up! He's coming up! He's coming up! Oh, he's going down, actually. Yeah. Never mind, he's not coming up. Something like Ale Mal's I was gonna say, the classic Ale Mal ability, not a laser gun. Foot! Stomp. So now next stream, of course, we'll start off with the Celestial Emissary meme. A little, like, bone diaper. Yeah, it does look like they're wearing a little, like, like a, like a flesh diaper. Whoa. He's growing hair. Oh, yeah, he's got... Didn't he, did he already have those? No. No. Tanglies. He's a Tangella. Do you ever, like... I, I'm, like, an elitist about deep cuts, so whenever I reference something that's, like, pretty <gasps> popular... Oh, fuck! Wow, I just got insta yo. Wow. Go. Jesus, I was not expecting that. Whenever I reference something popular like Pokemon, I'm like, stupid, stupid reference. It wasn't even a deep cut. It was just obvious, obvious, obvious reference. Maybe Tangela is like obscure enough of a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Absol. See, now that was a good one to reference. Yes, because Absol is the nothing Pokemon. The disaster. I, I gotta say, I felt bad after he posted that video because there were a few people who commented, they were like, Absol's my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry, I really am. Oh no. We really don't mean any uh, any harm by that, but uh, your favorite Pokemon fucking sucks, bro. <laughs> I know what we need. We need to change our gear. Mmm, that's we're what We're not we're protected against Alamos. We gotta mimic them. We did get a church set. We gotta pretend like we're one. Man, what if we get like an Alamos skin to wear as a costume? I'd be like, yeah. Absol mega, mega evolves and doesn't gain shit, someone says. <laughs> the whole mega evolution, it, Pokemon has been spinning its wheels for a while now. Yeah, they just I, need to go ahead and make the, the RPG, get it over with, like make an open world RPG Pokemon. Mm. I was gonna say they need to get out their old 12 gauge, bring Pokemon out to the back, and uh, no say way. goodbye. <laughs> it's the, You know it's made more money than any other franchise oh, yeah. ever? Absolutely. No way they're killing it. I, I know, but... Uh, <laughs> they should. They should. It's fine. There's, there's, like... I get to tend to law bunnies. <laughs> and, like, the, uh... I, I don't want to, like, be like, Oh, the fan base sucks or anything, but uh, I feel like people have got kind of entitled to the idea of getting a new version of Pokemon every few years. You know? Like, just forever. Like, people are like, oh, that's just gonna happen forever now. And, like, so whenever a new Pokemon comes out and it's, like, less than stellar, they're like, oh, this is horrible. There's not a million other Pokemon games I could be playing and <laughs> enjoying right now or anything. Oh, this is terrible. I need a new one every year. Or whatever. Pokemon. I don't know. There was like a lot of outrage when like Sun and Moon came out, and I was like, I don't know. What what the fuck do you expect like from a series that has been exhausting its own ideas for like ten generations now? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I play. I didn't play Sun and Moon or Gun and. Gun and sword. Gun blade. Yeah, the last one that I played was black. Black was okay. These guys. I really. I played X and Y. Oh, yeah. yeah, I never. The, the 3D ones was where I was, I was like, all right, I'm out. It was like the art style. What little art style there was just died when they went 3D. 
I like X and Y actually. That one actually had like enough like different things that were interesting to keep it going. Yeah, possible. I didn't play it, so. Nice, nice. Alright, that wasn't too tricky. Exploded. All the other Alamos die. Yep. Cool. And we've just ended the reign of Alamos now. Yep. They're gone. No, he's in the ground. It's sucked into the floor. Bury him. It's because he wore the proper garb. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, shit! Fucking, you see hidden path waits ahead and you're not hitting that shit? I didn't believe it. <laughs> that's like the first thing that's, uh, this is, oh, nice. Cool. Uh, that's the first thing that's anywhere near an illusory in this game. Boss arena? Oh, I think that's... Have you seen this before? This is the room where we fought Vicar Amelia. A call beyond! Whoa. What is that? Huh? I'm giving you a call beyond. Tell you how I feel. Create a small star explosion. Whoa! It needs 40? Damn. Holy we're not shit! Gonna, we're not gonna get that. No way, man. But still. Blue sparks. Man, these are kind of fun little things. Yeah, I, maybe on New Game Plus we can do a arcane build. Still popping off about my night call, Joe. Night call? Yeah. I'm giving you a night call. Oh. Kavinsky? Yep. Ah. I think that song was the opening credits to uh, Drive. Yes. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Is this another boss? Straight away? Oh my god. I see a big thing with big wing. Right into the heart of it, huh? Whoa. All these statues. This is, it, what a trashed room. I love, like, what good ambiance, too, like having the one beam of light, like... God's rays. Is it like a sphinx? It's a big-ass dragon thing. Fuck. What am I looking at here? I still can't tell. Oh, is, is that it, a sword? Is it an Alamount? I don't know. I thought it had a sword on its back. What the fuck? It's oh. got like little macaroni noodles. A man's gotta do <laughs> what a man's gotta do. <laughs> oh. Okay, well that was underwhelming. Oh. Ibridus! <laughs> Ibridus! Oh, it's so ugly. Oh, oh my, my god, Jesus. it's ugly. Oh, I love all the weird monsters. Okay, I guess we're fighting Ibridus. Ibridus. Obvious. Nah, Bruce. Rest in peace, Wilfred Brimley. Ah, actually, rest in peace. Yeah, it was like praying to a little spider altar. Yeah. Someone said it's worshipping Rom. I don't know if that was Rom. Oh, no love. I thought it was just an amygdala. Remember that one room that had like a million spiders in it? That we just, we just like ran, ran right through, through one time? Yeah. Living in the city, you know you have to survive. I like this where Damien just distracts her. Okay, well, Damien is dead now. Oh, I should have kept my fat mouth shut. Make mac and cheese out of its face, chat says. Wow, that Man, I can do. You gotta do it. Oh, you're taking noise. some damage. <gasps> Damn. Oh, you're yeah. fine! You were taking, like, passive damage there, too. It was like you were oh, poisoned, damn. but you weren't. I didn't realize. Yeah, that took me a second to realize, too. Down, down. I think this is so cool, See? actually, because this is totally the... This is like where the, the gun guy is. Oh, yeah? I don't see him there, but I I see the lantern. Oh shit, you're right. That's definitely the gun guy's room. Oh man, we're like haunted by our past. Yeah. <laughs> that should have been synced up. Uh, let us know in the chat if it was synced up. But just a little audio test. A little audio test there. Oh, we hit the button with my corpse. Hey. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That's so fucking funny. We did like slammed that button. <laughs> Can smash that motherfucking elevator button. Honestly, the whole elevator thing, that's such a Dark Souls thing and like yeah. nowhere else, is like elevators where the switch is a button on the floor. Like, huh? Yeah, it's actually such a Dark Souls thing. Yeah. And it's like amazing technology that you have here where the button on the floor somehow affects the chain that this cage is dangling from like miles above us or whatever. Altar of Despair. Nice, she's got a little butt. The butt that you just really like hide right in. Snuggle up in, yeah. She even like moves you around it. Whoa! <laughs> Speak of the devil. Speak of the daughter of the cosmos. I think we could have got a crit if we had been at the front there. Okay. What the else? fuck was that? I don't know, so, so many of these attacks I'm like... A lot of these bosses are so big that you can't even fucking tell what's happening. Yeah. You know? Ibridus the daughter of the cosmos, Ibridus the daughter of the cosmos, ha 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 ha, she died! You really didn't have any trouble with that at all. We did it. The great is Chalice. I did have the summon. 
That summons help so much because you can just yeah. sort of distract the boss and then whoop their ass. All right, let's go investigate this fucking spider. Yeah. Is it wrong? Oh, it does. Oh, it totally is wrong. It's like its body shrunk, though. Yeah, it has a little, like, mouth thing. Yeah, it's definitely got the same face, and look, it's got candles all over it. Oh, they geez. love their candles. Uh, do nothing. Wow. I guess I'll do that, then. Wonderful. Huh? Okay. <laughs> all right. Maybe, uh, the... 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 the gesture? I'm just gonna try this. I don't know. Yeah. Just, I don't even Maybe? Fight. Oh, we should do it in the room with the... the big alien boss. That's true. That big open thing. Because it's called Make Contact, so maybe it's like, I want to yeah. go to the spaceship. Are we yeah. going to get abducted, dude? That would be fucking lit. I, I don't think uh, I don't think we actually do go into space at any point, but we might. I can dream. <laughs> did we switch yet? Yeah, it swapped. Oh, it did? Oh, I was looking at chat. Okay, fuck it. It's not it. Okay. I say try it in that other room. The alien okay. room. <laughs> 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 okay, okay. What the fuck? This is hard. It's hard because you have to get a run. You have to get a run to get over the hump. And then when you're running, you're running. And you move fast. Okay, okay, I get it. Alright, alright, alright. A big and right! A greater challenge. I didn't I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Harder than the boss. That fucking gun guy was hard on this thing. Yeah. <laughs> We still haven't, we still fear the gun guy. Still haven't whooped his ass. I feel like uh, there, maybe, I feel like there should, would be notes if this is the right place. Yeah, probably, there would be like a ton. Nothing but kin of the cosmos here. Ah, fuck it, let's try it. Might as well try. Somebody said that Rom, that spider might be the physical form of Rom, and we thought it's like ethereal form or something. Interesting, that would check out. Yeah, also, some, I know this is like a typo, but somebody said they wouldn't have put that note, those notes there if it wasn't easy. If it wasn't easy. Whoops. <laughs> so now... Fucking easy! No, oh, very oh. sad. Very, very sad. That would have been great. I wanted to. I, we probably would have died. <laughs> oh, We're okay. back, bitch! Get our souls. Might as well. To the gun guy? Uh, Should we try? Do you want it? In the next stream, oh, uh, dead. or after that, we can do Castle Kinghurst. Yeah. Okay. We must make Oh, wait, no, 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 I should have bought poison knives. Fuck me. Oh, idiot, yeah, idiot, shit. idiot, idiot, idiot. Hey, uh, Lois, I'm playing Bloodborne. <laughs> Peter? Someone happened to say that. God damn it, we're gonna have to sit through another loading screen. Another two, two loading, loading, screens. loading screens. Also, that lady died. <laughs> Do we want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. We still She's have her now. bottle of sweet blood that she, like, that she, like, tastefully draped a little, like, doily over. <laughs> oh. Has her initials on it. <laughs> Monogrammed doily. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna pop some uh, Namla dudes. Yeah, that too. Thick cooking oil. Thick virgin olive oil. What? What is virgin olive oil? How is it virginal? I don't know. Do they fuck other olive oil? Yeah. Hmm. It's weird, but olives just, they, you can't stop them. <laughs> All okay, right. so now do we, do we summon or do we try and cheese first? I say, why do we have to choose? <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> it's virgin because the oil is extracted without heat. Oh, sure. Okay. What does the heat have to do with anything? Yeah, interesting. I want, now I want to taste the difference between... Chad, <laughs> Chad Oliver. Wow, and Oh Oliver. no! Terrible. I gotta go home and make him do <laughs> now. Oh no! Check King of Lim on Twitter for a stupid meme about Chad versus Virgin Olive Oil. Get ready, it's coming out today. <laughs> Last night I made another meme about freaking Garfield. How I how he wouldn't stop t messaging me on Twitter asking to bail him out of prison. And it's sitting on my computer and I'm like, do I dare post this? <laughs> I posted some meme yesterday about, like, I, I was talked about microchip vaccines and the amount of people that must search microchip vaccine on Twitter and then just respond to everything. <laughs> like, like, five dudes were like, yeah. read this for more info. And I'm like, bro, yeah, that's not real, bro. <laughs> Bill Gates pays me money. Oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. Wow. Then they'll know the truth that I'm a Bill Gates shill. Shill Gates. The eyes on the lantern are cool. Yeah, the, uh, there's eyes everywhere. Eyes of Ganon are everywhere. That's something they say in Zelda 2 sometimes. 
Can we not use it here? Yeah. Sad. Very sad. Thought maybe it was like a zone thing. Okay, well, oh boy. Somebody said it's because we already beat the boss. I didn't even know that was a thing. Well, that sucks. We can't summon for this guy. So we just gotta cheese him. We just gotta cheese him. <laughs> Lure him to the door and get out the knives. Yup. <laughs> Actually, wait. Uh, I want to use this blue elixir. What does that do? Makes... Makes us like invisible for a bit. Oh. Slather him in poison. When was the last time you slathered yourself in something? Like, I guess like sunscreen? <laughs> yeah, Self-care is important, alright? <laughs> Take the time to really slather something all over yourself. Also, that's where we were, up there. That's so cool. I think. Maybe? No, maybe not, because there's not a... Yeah, oh, yeah, it's no, it's different. Totally up there. Also, would it you was fucking there. saw me? Saw us anyway? Okay. Maybe it's because I was moving too fast. She's done. I want to know, like, this guy's lore. Like, why is he the hardest guy? Yeah. Somebody said he's essentially an NPC with cheats activated <laughs> in, like, the comments. Oh. Cool, really cool, really cool. It's like playing, like, Age of Empires back in the day, and you used to turn the people, like, the NPCs up really high, and they would just literally cheat. <laughs> like, resources, like, didn't make sense. Huh. He does bleed himself out a little bit, though. He does. And you get a little bit of AIDS. Oh! oh he just, just numbing misted me! Oh shit. What the fuck? He's a straight I didn't gamer. I didn't even know that he had those. Yeah, and we've never seen that before. Alright. Well I got him pretty fucking close. I think that's the strat is keep down there. Cause just keep him engaged and keep him from healing. Uh somebody said lead elixir might work well on this guy. I don't they said it makes his weapon just clink off of you like he's hitting a wall. Alright. Kinda sounds like that's invincible, but no, probably does damage still. Oh, wow. God. Just chuck those knives all over the damn place. There goes 2,000 souls. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he was gonna like clip out of bounds or something when he went up onto that step. I was like, oh please, please just die, hurt. Well, the level mixer makes it so you can barely move though. Very sad. I think if he ever tries to heal, just shooting him with the gun is a good idea because uh, even if we don't get the parry, it'll still. Oh, nice! It'll still interrupt. Oh. Don't let him heal. He oh, just healed. Fuck me. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Holy luck. Well, what the fuck? Folks. God damn it. Man, you had it. I had Let's it. Let's take it. All right. I, I healed instead of stopping him from healing, and it was the fault in our stars. <laughs> he was taking a fuck ton of damage for like a second there. Yeah, I think his like blood katana makes him uh, bleed out when he like stabs him fucking self with the knife. <laughs> I think he. Uh, I think he, he makes it so he takes more damage. Okay, so that's uh, his foolish error that will be his demise. Downfall. To be your demise. Did it seem like the lead helped at all? Um, he hit me once with it. I mostly dodged. And he hit me once and he clinked. So, so did, did it do damage? I don't know if it... He did take a bunch of damage in that span, so I don't know if that was associated or if it was just him bleeding out. Sad. But I wish I had been paying attention. You could, like, try it and see. He definitely did, like, clink off me once. Someone said, I'm amazed the boys haven't rage quit this fight yet. Absolutely not. We did twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't quit. We don't quit. Uh, oh, did... Wait, did my heals not work? The fuck? I could have sworn I did... I, like, tr I hit the heal button and I could have sworn I did a vial. Damn, I don't think it happened, but, actually, somehow. Weird. I was like, why didn't I fucking heal when I healed? Oh, I know what you gotta do. I know the way. I don't believe it, but I know exactly Is it switching clothes for the millionth fucking time? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> My secret was revealed. All that this room matters to me is that you can get out of bounds there. Oh, actually? The only, yeah, that's the one I showed you. Oh, that's right. You fall forever. That is right. We, I, I think we should talk to that Buckethead guy at some point. Because, uh, we have, like, a million vermin to give to him. That's right, actually. We gotta go back there. That was in the Forbidden Woods, right? Yeah. In, like, the windmill. Yeah, he was right next to a lantern. There you go. I don't know why that one counted and so many others didn't. Ooh. Oh. Another one that, like, so should've... Should've, could've, would've. I wonder if this guy ever runs out of blood vials. 
question. Like, I was thinking off stream, I could just, like, lame him out and just get rid of all his blood vials and then start off the stream with him at, like, one health or something, and we could just walk up to him and hit him. <laughs> you, you're walking around with, like, half health a lot. It's, uh, there he goes. Healed up. I was just, well, because after that one time, yeah. I was scared of him healing, yeah. so yeah. I was trying to wait for him to heal. Very fair. But it, I fucked it up that way, too, so clearly Sad. I should have just healed anyway. <laughs> Walking in Memphis. I don't know how long that the mist lasts on him is also the thing. No idea. Cheese him by training his blood vials. Yeah, someone said you can. And somebody also said he heals like 15 times. Well, we can carry 20, so... Ha! Ah, believable. We can outdo it. Also, one nice thing is I feel like some of the Dark Souls games had some, like, horribly annoying walk-ups. And this is, like, one of the longest ones you've encountered, and it's really not that bad. Yeah. I, I think the castle might be a long walk up. I don't know. We might have missed a, a lantern yeah. or a path along the way. Turns out the clothes did not help. <laughs> Damn it. I never would have... I thought this was it. Classic stratagem. Yeah, we don't look enough like him. So we gotta kill him to get his clothes. That's right. Damn it. I feel like he can like cancel his moves or something, yeah. too. A lot of times he does like his little roll dash. And he, it feels like he starts up a, a swing, but then doesn't complete it. Why do you like to move him to the stairs? Because uh, he wants to walk back up. He's, uh, he's distracted and so won't uh, be as likely to heal, I think. That's good. That's good logic. That's just... Uh, that's just right. Okay. Super cool. Wow, he could have parried me and killed me there. Oh, thank goodness he didn't decide to cut himself. <laughs> Oh, eat dick! No! God damn it! Damn. That sucked. All right. Hard. Yeah. I do Is not he? like him. Is this a challenging guy that we're fighting? Wait. Is it? <laughs> There's. Uh, I, I will say, Dark Souls hard and all that. Funny meme. Yeah. But this game really doesn't branch over into bullshit very often. No. I think, for me, the one thing where I'm like, this is bullshit, is the frenzy mechanic. I really yeah. don't like the frenzy. No, that's annoying, because there's, like, not really reasonable counterplay. Yeah, well, I mean, there, there kind of is, but it's just, I don't know, it's just annoying tedious. It yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not a fun challenge to overcome. It just feels like fucking pain, and it's just like, just avoid those enemies at all costs. Yeah, actually, I, I agree. I don't think there's really been... Like, not really, like, bullshit bosses, either. Like, even, like, Rom, who... Like, this guy is game. literally the most bullshit guy in the game so far. Yeah. Like, we have struggled way more on this guy than any boss. <laughs> yeah, we know about the, uh, the insight mechanic. That's part of why I don't like it. It's like it's punishing you for getting more insight. Yeah. Whereas in Dark Souls, when you had humanity, which is kind of a similar thing, uh, it gave you a boost. It gave you better item discovery and more health and shit. But here, it's the opposite. It makes you, it makes it easier to die. It, it's a detriment. It's just uh, kind of sad. <laughs> shoot, shoot, and oh, he's shit. gonna heal. Damn it! He's just so fast with it. Yeah, yeah and the, I'm sad those bullets didn't heal. Maybe or didn't hit him. Maybe we need to switch to, switch to a, gun with a little bit longer. A branch. pistol, yeah. Oh shit! I think Army's you got close. like. Lead or something there. Yeah. Look at that, our meter was going up when he was hitting our dead fucking body. Weird. It sucks that uh, certain things, like your blood vials and your quicksilver bullets, automatically refill from your storage every time you go to the Hunter's Dream, but everything else doesn't. Yeah, that's weird. So, like, we have a bunch of poison knives in storage, or we have some, but we would need to go to the Hunter's Dream and just grab them, which is kind of tedious and dumb. Yeah, that is dumb. That statue with no head that's, like, pouring out the vase was in... Uh, I don't think we actually watched this, but if you let the title screen just sit for a while, uh, it plays a little, like, cutscene. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, or it plays a little ad for Bloodborne, basically. Uh, speaking of Pokemon Black, fucking when I opened up Pokemon Black for the first time, uh, it has... or not for the first time, any time, it has an ad for the game in the game. What? Like... It's like, play Pokemon Black, fight all the Pokemon, get all the Pokemon in Pokemon Black, challenge new foes, and I'm like, I'm playing it right now! Like, what more do you want? You don't have to sell me. It was like the most, like, ridiculous shit ever. I genuinely don't get, like, what was up with that. I, I went back to that, like, zone that was like a bunch of cages where the sack guys were, and there were a bunch of corpses of sack guys sitting around. Hmm. 
and they all had like twin bloodstone or they had like bloodstone chunks or something on them. So I guess they all fucking died for some reason. I don't. That's probably some lore shit. Interesting. Oh, very weird. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm glad they're gone. So we definitely saw another altar like this that had a creature on it. Remember that? And we got like some item from it. But I don't remember where that was or if that had mm -hmm. anything else. We saw an altar like this, and there was like a creature yeah, laying on it. that was in the like nightmare version. Ah. Do you remember uh, Osmosis Jones? Yeah. Where Bill Murray ate a monkey egg. A monkey egg. It was like <laughs> it was. You, let's do two and two. Okay. Uh, it was like this fucking like nauseating scene where he's eating a hard boiled egg, and he like drops it in like the floor of a monkey cage. <laughs> And then he like picks it up again and like dusts it off and goes, oh, and I'm like, Bleh. That's right, that's how the, that is literally integral to the plot of the movie, mm -hmm. is that he eats a monkey egg. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, I forgot about that. Mm -hmm. Damn, I was nice as this chance. That movie's like one of those weird movies that kind of just like exists in its own plane and you're like, what was exactly the audience? Was this movie popular? Kids. Was it not? Kids. Kids. Some people say they remember the show a lot more than the movie, and I was like, I definitely have a couple of shows like that. Not Osmosis Jones, but like the Lilo and Stitch I was, show. I was going to say, the Lilo and Stitch show, is that for me? Was mm -hmm. there an Osmosis Jones show? Apparently. Oh. I remember there was like Buzz Lightyear show. I didn't even know. Oh yeah. Well, I knew about that. The brave and the bold Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, blood, bullets, and babes. It's just, uh... This guy would be so, like, there's there's so many things you could change about this guy to make him not feel like bullshit, you know? Oh my god. Like, he's got so much going for him. He's like Smash 4 Bayonetta. See, I think the stairs are Damn, just... Damn, yeah, uh, I think it's just better. Better it's environment. so hard. Too. Like, the invis roll, he's always on top of, like, where he goes. Damn. Yeah, that. I hate this guy. He sucks. He's always on top of where he goes. That's yeah. a real state. <laughs> It's like if he couldn't heal, it would be manageable. If he didn't have a magic fucking gun that does ten times more damage than every other gun in the game. Yeah, that's I think that's like the secret. Yeah, I guess you're right. One small change. Could any fix it. any one thing. Make him not brutally hard. Yeah. How about if we die to him a few more times, then we go back to the hunter's dream, eat literally all of our cold blood dew, and level up as much as we can in strength. That's a good idea. I like that, because we are definitely doing more damage to him now than we used to be, at least. Yes. Nice, finally. Didn't get the parry, though, Damn. unfortunately. I rushed it. Also, he just did a plunging attack, <laughs> like, instantaneously, yeah. God damn you. Jesus. Alright, I'm taking another go. We're doing two and two. Two and two. I'm gonna pop all of our dew. Pop some big dew. Can't wait to see those kin cold bloods get popped. THICK COLD BLOOD! I think I want to go give the vermin to the guy too. Yeah, I was oh, just. Ooh, that was close. I think it doesn't. I think we eventually are gonna have to just use them anyway. I don't, I don't think it matters. The vermins? The, no, the umbilical cord. Oh yeah. I, I want to do them all at once. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> you ever croon? Croon. You ever crooned before? Like that. Yeah, sure. That was my best crooning impression. Oh, be sure it's true oh. when you say I love you. Do you know that Data from Star Trek The Next Generation has an album of croons? What the hell? And he does that song, and Patrick Stewart comes in to do the low-talking guy bit, where he goes, you know it's a sin to tell a lie, honey, or whatever. It's amazing. I had no idea. I did have... Leonard Nimoy in William Shatner's mm. joint album, so yes. I did have one Star Trek singing album, but I don't think he ever crooned. Yeah, Leonard Nimoy was, uh, he was like trying to be a pop sensation for a while there. Yeah. He had the Bilbo Baggins song. You know that one? Oh, that's right! That was, yeah, that's right! And then there's that time that William Shatner sang Rocket Man. He had like a whole album of like spoken word songs. <laughs> Is Our Lady dead? No, she's still alive. <laughs> this is, I'm gonna years. get him! It's, it's more pathetic because she's been, we know she's been sitting here for like weeks. And she's like, keep running past over She's over. like, I can't get him! To go do the Mario, eat your shit, and then, you know, come oh, on. What the oh. fuck was that? Excuse the hell out of me? It's a little bit of jolly jank. Jolly co jankery. Oh, what? Oh, what out of bullets. Oh, God damn it. I was also like, what the hell? Yeah. 
it just waved my gun at him. That's very sad, because I feel like this is not easily doable without the bullets. Okay, there you go. God damn it. Damn, I truly despise this man. Yeah, he sucks. <laughs> very, very sad. It's, it's kind of weird, because the shotgun uses one bullet, but yeah. the pistol uses two? Huh? Is it like it's taking it's taking the bullet and then they have one of those uh, you know those like apple slicers that slices an entire apple at once? <laughs> yeah. He's just got those in front of his gun, or we've got one of those in front of our blunderbuss, and it's splitting the bullet. It. Yeah. That makes that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Oh, were we close, chat? Oh, were we? Thank you. Thank you. I don't think we were close enough. It's <laughs> one of those things that does make me so salty. Is fucking like, I'm so close, and then people are going, "You were so close." I'm like, "Don't remind me. Yeah, don't tell me." <laughs> yeah, I know. I know that this pistol fires two bullets. You just fucking kicked that lady several times. <laughs> yeah, we know this one shoots two bullets, but it's just funny that the shotgun uses less. Is all. I think he dodges the poison knives less when he's on the stairs, too. Perhaps just because of the angle. Huh. You're kind of right. You've never been right before, so it's really weird that you're suddenly right this time. <laughs> it's never happened before. Something I think about a lot was, there was some, like, random, it was just like, oh, I think this one thing is here, but what the other one, you thought that it was somewhere else. And then it turned out that it, it was where I thought it was, and you were like, you win! I was like, wow, yeah, that's what this is all about. <laughs> winning and losing. Winning and losing. <laughs> if you're right, that means you won. Someone said embrace the cannon. <laughs> Honestly, don't tempt me, Jack. Yeah, you don't. Please don't. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Get him. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh, my God. Who the hell was saying we couldn't cheese this guy? He's over. The stairs were the answer. He's over. Get his fucking item. Nicely done. Um, very, yeah. very, very, oh, very nicely done. Her. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's like, oh, oh, you killed. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no matter. I don't seem to be happy with this life anymore. Oh. My glory days were very sad. long ago. Here, take this flamethrower. <laughs> I never got to use it properly. My dying wish is oh, for you oh, to oh, use oh, it. Oh. Nice. Hunter badge. And nice. Hunter. Oh, a, a different um, blue ring. Yeah, that must be for the Covenant. Huh. Uh -oh. Well, I think she's about to die. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Crow Lady. You were cool. Bye-bye. We liked you. All right, well, nice. You did it. Very cool. And now we can get this lantern back. Nice. Not that we need to use it for anything. Yeah. It would have been nice to be able to use it for this guy, in fact, but... Okay, you know what we're doing? Ooh, we're gonna go whatever. turn in the little worms. Huh? Oh, vermin. the vermin, yeah. That's the word I'm thinking of. Vermin. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, check the shop, too, because I'm sure we can buy her set and shit now, because she gave us a badge. Oh, yeah. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are expensive, but we gotta get those. Beak Sick. mask. <laughs> oh, we gotta get that. A little bit of Plague Doctor. Do a gesture of victory. Well, we still have to find out where to make contact. Yeah, apparently it's somewhere we've already been. I might mm -hmm. look it up. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Well, we'll see. I'm, it's one ones, it's like maybe. I'm chewing on the idea of looking it up. Find vermin. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, never mind. I don't know where we turn in those vermin. They do get turned in, though, right? I don't know. Actually, you don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, try eating one. Shit. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Oh, shit! <sighs> now we gotta do that 51 more times. Oh, my God. Wait, talk to him. Do you like that we crushed that vermin? Maybe. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Look oh, my God. oh my god! <laughs> He's like, I like that you crushed that vermin. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. So I wonder if he gives you more items depending on how many freaking almost certainly vermin you've crushed. Okay, I'm gonna All I'm right. gonna crush, crush those fucking a bunch of crush vermin. Those fucking things. <laughs> uh, chat, stop us if there's any other use for these things. Otherwise, we're gonna fucking crush them. Fucking get them out of here. Oh, I'm go I'm so fucking glad that we killed that guy. Crush. That guy sucked. That guy was literally harder than any other boss in the game. And then we ended up just being able to cheese him. Yeah, that was great. It wasn't like super cheese either, but he just, he like was a little distracted by the wall. That was all it yep. took. Yep. Well, I think it was just that he's trying to walk back to his, uh, that's why the stairs are good, man. Because uh, he, he gets distracted trying to go back to his home. I wonder if that other ghost is also just crushing bugs over and over. <laughs> 
This guy's like, this guy's like, damn, okay, you crushed one vermin and I told you good job, but now you're crushing fucking 50? Bit extra, bro. He's like, dude, stop. Stop it. <laughs> Shark tail, please, man. This is gross. <laughs> your foot's like soaked in blood. It's like when you get one of your friends into something and then they get like way more into it than oh. you ever were, you <laughs> yeah. know? And you're oh. just sitting there watching it happen. Somebody said grape stomping. Oh, that's uh, that's Lucas, actually. Hi, Lucas. The guy who gave us? This very PS4. The very PS4. Magical He's man. here, folks. Everybody thank Lucas. But he's talking about grape stomping, and it's just making me think of the... Wah! Wah! <laughs> Do you remember that? Where, isn't like a lady where she falls? Yeah. And yeah. She, I, I can never remember <laughs> the exact noise she makes. I'm actually going to look it up, because it's always funny to me. We're going to listen to the grape Every stomping Every fucking lady time. Noise. It like it always catches me off guard. Atlanta grape lady. Hefty is oh away. fuck off, Hefty! <laughs> they got fucking like John Cena for the Hefty oh. commercials, and they're awful. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. Oh my god! Forever. And it, it, to those of you who haven't seen the video, it's two ladies stomping grapes. They're doing like a competition. And one of the ladies, the one that falls down, goes, stop! And then she, like, sort of cheekily starts, like, really quickly stomping them, like she just tricked the other person. But then her quick stomping uh, is what makes her fall over and go, uh, 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 uh. Fucking hilarious. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, yeah, the final vermin. Holy shit. Da, the last da, da, of his da, kind. Da, da, We're literally da, exterminating da, da, da. a species right now. Oh. <laughs> the last vermin. <laughs> Nice. Give us a sign of that we killed 50 right before your goddamn eyes. <laughs> your eyes say it all! <laughs> time and time again! Nice. Is he gonna give us his bucket hat? I think we might have completed this guy's quest line. Oh, I guess so. Oh. The sake of our fellows. Wow. Okay. So the difference between getting one and getting 50 was <laughs> nothing. Okay, that, maybe that like does something else somewhere. Do the League Oath, someone says. Do, go do the League Oath in front of him. Fuck it. Oh, nice, the cane. The cane. Whoa. Wait, did we just take out the cane to do that? Yeah. That's interesting. The League of... I will crush every vermin. That's the emphasis on form. Oh, well, we did it. Um. Speed. Um. Speed. Helicopter parenting. Look at that, I could truly spew him. Okay, do we want to go to the <laughs> castle or the DLC? I'd say castle. Let's save the DLC for later. I agree. Are you never gonna believe it, dog? I just crushed 50 vomit. <laughs> the world is now clean of scum. Yeah, the reason we got a shit ton of vermin was because I played... I, I assisted people with bosses a bunch on online, off stream. Ah, okay. That's right. We might want to call it quits semi soon. Yeah. I'm gonna turn on the fan, actually. Okay. So we're gonna readjust our... We gotta do the whole rigmarole every time. Oh, rigmarole. Did you know it's not rigmarole, actually? It's rigmarole. I did not know that. There is no second A. Or, er, there's no... That A doesn't exist in rigmarole. I had it's no idea. It's just rig my roll. Rig my roll. Just rig my damn rolls right rig off. Rig my roll right off. My party attire is on. God damn it. This changing clothes bit is so fucking dumb, but I love it. Fashion Ooh. souls is important. That guy just hopped off, off the cliff out of the abyss. Wait a second. Oh, you can go down That's there. That's not an abyss. Also, that guy was vibrating like crazy. Okay, shush. Okay. Worms. There's about 40,000 worms in here. These worms are straight out of Dark Souls, ah! too. They will fuck you up. Yeah! Okay, well, it wasn't an abyss after all. There was nothing in here, which is kind of sad. There's a blood gemstone thing. Let me do, like, a tiny bit of castle exploring to see if there's a closer bonfire. Do it. Oh, what the hell do you mean? That's what we're doing. Just go straight to the boss. That boss was fucking us up. Like, uh. Yeah. He was. Maybe maybe we think that gun guy is the hardest boss in the game because we didn't fight this guy a lot. Good god, they're so fast. I know you're all angry with me. I know you all want a part of this action. <laughs> I'm dressed all hot for the party and only one of you can have me, I'm afraid. Just These statues brain. might be of the same kind of people. That the doll and that lady in the wedding dress are, because they're super fucking tall. They're big. Or maybe they're just big statues. They might just be big Whoa, statues. Whoa, very brave. 
Oh, <laughs> that was a little dumb, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> the line between stupidity and bravery often blurred. When we were starting the Vicar Amelia fight, she has like a little locket, like pendant thing. That she like looks at and you said, that's Father Gas's coin. <laughs> and you probably don't even remember saying that, but I, I think about it every day. <gasps> I'm sure there's there's gotta be another lantern. It felt like it's quite a distant run yeah. to get to that boss every single time. You know what we could do? Uh, and I, I might stream this game on my own. Uh, just I just thought of it just now. Uh, is uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. What is that? You never heard of that? No. I mean, it's, I assume it's a Castlevania game? Yes. It's like the quintessential Castlevania game. It's famous for being... It's it's considered uh, one of the best games ever, I think. That's cool. Yeah. And uh, it's I think it's something that sort of... Castlevania sort of heavily inspired Dark Souls. And it's, it's sort of aesthetic, and also it's a Metroidvania. It's like the two, the two like godlike Metroidvanias that are like absolute classics on either side of Metroid and Vania are Super Metroid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night, which is. I like, never realized that Castlevania was like the second part of that. Wow, Metroidvania. Yep. Yeah, because I've only heard like Metroidvania heard that all the time, but I just assumed it was just like. Metroid S games. He did a uh, he did a face palm in real life, and so because uh, Castlevania, the first three or four games I think uh, are kind of just side-scrolling platformers where you go through levels and progress linearly. But then I think starting with Symphony of the Night, I might be wrong on this. I've never played many Castlevanias. Starting with Symphony of the Night, I'm pretty sure it started becoming this. Uh, more. Yes, Metroidvania, explorey, get upgrades type affair. Which is cool. That is cool. And I've never played it. It looks fucking gorgeous. It's a PS1 game, but it uses 2D assets. Which, That's cool. Which is such a Chad move in, yeah, the, in the era when everybody was trying to rush for 3D graphics at all costs. So it's like calling games a Metroidvania is like calling FPS games Wolf and Dooms. <laughs> and as funny as the phrase Wolf and Dooms is, FPSs were literally called Doom clones before it was a big genre, you know? I think hiding behind these, like, things might be the strat for this guy. Seems like we're doing better damage to him, though. Woo! We could also summon. That's true. Oh, of course. Someone would probably whoop this guy's ass. I wonder if you can cheese him and make him fall off. That would be awesome. Uh, I some, that, but yeah, somehow, somehow I kind of doubt it. Even oh, though Dark Souls has that shit. All right. Yeah, I feel like that was like Dark Souls one. Did Dark Souls three have anything that you could just knock off? Uh, I'm sure there is. I mean, you can definitely cheese. There's some that's like unintentional, like the old Demon King. You can like clip into the wall. Uh, but. I don't know, I'm trying to think, because there were certainly ones in Dark Souls 1 that were like that. Yeah, Dark Souls 1, I sort of think, and I wonder if it was just, like, kind of unintentional, but then they just, like, fucking leave it in. Yeah, hard to say, actually. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm wondering, I, I've been, like, I'm thinking about, like, were there any places that would have been, that would that would have made, like, a lot of sense to do the, like, gesture? Oh, that's right. So, I'm racking my brains. I'll have to think on it a little more. And maybe I'll Google it, but yeah, that probably seems not. like maybe one. Unless, like, I guess you could just like truly like wander around. Oh. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah, I think the mark just like hits our stamina every once in a while. <sighs> it's uh, pretty fucky on a ladder because yeah. when you run out of stamina on a ladder, you fucking like go whoa 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 whoa. whoa. So glad I could catch the game grumps streaming blood bag. Someone says. Ah, well, welcome to the <laughs> for the time of the beckoning bell. Oh, I see now. It does have a cadence to it. Yeah. Did I ring the wrong bell? Oh, that's the bell to get summoned. Fuck. Oh, right. My B. I guess I'll just fire this silencing blank. <laughs> oh, discovered. Oh, shit. No, we're gonna get summoned for this oh, guy. Oh, no. No, I hit the silencing blank. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, yes. We're here to help you. <laughs> Kamala Kekmeister. We're gonna fight this boss with you. <laughs> Everything's fine. Let's go! <laughs> we're gonna fucking beat this guy in not our own world. <laughs> and then we're gonna not be able to actually beat him. I should have known that it was the wrong bell from that little thing. That yeah, when you were singing it. That doesn't play when we. Or that, uh. That text doesn't come up when we. Ooh. Oh! Whoa! Wait, was that like. Did he fly before that move or was that some, uh. Nikolash jank? 
kind of looks like Jank. Oh shit! Oh, he's second phase. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, swords flying around. What the fuck? Huh? Oh my god! It's chaos. Wait, fucking huh? swords everywhere. <laughs> oh shit! What is going on with my weapon? What is this? I'm holding a sword. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! They just stick in you. Oh, that's fucking weird. You just you caught it in your hand. You're like, oh, 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 that's definitely fine. Okay. I, I thought that was jank. It was just jank because he like went up the wall with it. Yeah. Outside the ROM fight, for whatever that, for whatever reason, that fog wall is uh, super jank, and like the NPCs always do that Mika last shit, where they like float up in the air for a second, and you're like, whoa. Oh, fuck. I think that's him summoning his cluster. Oh, um, And it like, right. becomes more potent when he summons it again. Maybe he like ran out of knives. That's an Undertale reference and you don't get it. Shameful. <laughs> Popular? Kidding. Are you Never. kidding me with this shit? Jokes. 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 Alright. We did it! We did it. You're welcome, Keckmeister. You did it for us. Hurrah! You better stop that I'm goddamn gonna... vermin! <laughs> We're gonna get unsummoned before I can do it. No, it'll work! <laughs> Right in front of him. Right in front of his goddamn eyes. I'm trying to tightrope walk here while we're doing this. Nice. Look at him strut. Now, yump! Oh, shit. You gotta get out, you switch it to the spear because with ah, uh, of course. longer balance, you know? Balance it. Alright, well, any any Chad fans at home want to fucking, like, carry us through this fight? You can. <laughs> oh, 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 what do we have here? Uh, invisible wall. Sad. Bullshit. Fight him. Uh, very sad, very sad. Now you're a god gamer, so you know he works. Yeah, that. Well, the thing is, it's not about knowing how he works. It's about having another person to distract him while I smack he ass. Smack he ass. Oh, are we, uh... Are we out of bloodies? Are yeah, we're low. Because I guess... Like, out of our total bloodies? In the, uh, in the dream world that we visited. Counted. Yeah, yeah, we only had a few. All right, well, I uh, might need to grind a tiny bit off stream. Or we can no, I, I don't think we're out of money. We still have them. It's just we didn't go back to the hunter stream in between using them in, in Koala's world. Oh, right, right, right. His head is shrouded with hair. Yeah, as many heads are, frankly. Oh, come on! That so looks jank. Yeah, it just some, goes up. Something about that, it's like he doesn't like spread out his arms like an airplane and go meow or anything. He's up. Yeah, he just goes up. I will come down on you with the force of battles and winds. It's a always sunny in Philadelphia quote. Oh, I'm flying with the references today. I'm out of, I'm out, I'm out. Wow, okay, that hit me. Okay. Thanks, game. All right, Andrew's going. I did pretty good. Yeah, actually, I'm still. Wow, when you showed up today, you said Ichiban. Ichiban. It was like, I, it was like, you said that you were coming over at like 10.30, and it was like 10.35, and I just like knew. I like didn't, it was like I was walking downstairs, and I got your message, and I was like, oh, you. I was already coming down. <laughs> A copyright claim was created for my video. Which one? Let's find out. One, two, three. Flash Game Friday, part 46. Oh, shit. Oh god damn it, it's fucking Latin author. And uh I remember this, so it, the song One More Time got claimed by Daft Punk. But oh, it's yeah. definitely a cover by Sax Squatch. Oh that uh that made that made it in there. And Latin Author is this company that I think is just a straight up scam or like some they do fraudulent shit all the time because uh every once in a while a video will just get a million copyright claims on one song, and it's usually a song they don't even have any legal claim to, such as Sax Squatch, huh. in this case. So and they're just like hoping that people don't care and let them take the ad revenue? Yeah, well it's also really hard to dispute a claim yeah. like that. So they get away with it all the fucking time, I'm sure, and it's claimed by, let me read it out. Uh, copyrighted content, the melody found in One More Time, Radio Edit, claimed by... Latin author, Reach Music Publishing, Latin author UMPG, UNIAO Brasileira de Editorias de Musica, UBEM, ARESA, IMPEL, Latin author Peer Music, 
UMPG Publishing, Abramus Digital, and EMI Music Publishing. All of those just fraudulently copyright claimed one of my old VODs, and it's now going to be filled with ads Weird. that will go to Latin author. It's truly terrible. Damn. Yeah, it's like I, I made some like animation, and I and I made my own remix, like a not very good remix, but it was my own of friggin' um, a Joji song, mm. mostly just so it wouldn't sound like the original one, and it got claimed by some random dude just saying it was his remix, and I listened to his, and it was terrible. Yeah. And I was like, bro. Yeah, that's the worst. Cause this one is just like a fucking like company of scammers, basically like Latin author. Uh, just trying to squeeze money out of a broken system. But sometimes it'll just be some random douchebag. There was another one, uh, my old villager montage called Timber, that uses a remix of uh, a KK Slider song, and it uses Today Was a Good Day, like Ice Cube or whatever. I don't think that's actually Ice Cube, fuck, I don't remember. But uh, it used uh, the lyrics from that song and then it used the KK Slider instrumentals. And I got copyright claimed on that because it detected the lyrics from Today Was a Good Day, which also appeared in somebody's horrible fucking Vaporwave remix that they had uploaded to SoundCloud, and somehow got, like, copyrighted. Like, the, it was a song they hadn't written, and it was... Oh, man. Oh, take a Take a mully. It was like a song they hadn't written, it was just like a Vaporwave remix of something, and somehow their copyright claim took priority over actual, like, Ice Cube. Weird. So, what the fuck? Huh. It was very bizarre, and that one, that was one that, like, went away after a while. There was another time, actually, that one of our Harry Potter videos got copyright claimed, uh, and it was... Copyright claimed by another Let's Player who played Harry Potter 2. What? And somehow had tried- that was another one oh, where- Oh, he didn't speak English or something, right? He, it was like Dan- they were Danish or some shit like that. And, uh, they had somehow That's put insane. a claim to any playing of Harry Potter PC games. So it detected not- I think it wasn't the audio, it was like the visuals of the game or something. Maybe it detected the game music. Weird. Yeah, maybe he just did it on like one of the game songs or something. Yeah. That is so weird. And it's so fucked up that people can do that and then... And get away with it. And get away with it, if, I mean, at least for a little while before it gets corrected, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, it's like they just get to make a little bit of money off of our fucking videos Fuck. until that gets fixed. And YouTube is such a massive conglomerate, wow, very brave. And potentially dumb. Nice. Oh, no. God damn. <laughs> Don't you dare try to climb that ladder again, okay? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I guess like the real dumb thing is the fact that they can like like do that, and there's like, essentially no punishment, so they can like yeah. continue doing it. Yeah. And there's like no reason for them to not fraudulently <laughs> copyright stuff because it just doesn't matter. Yeah, and uh, Latin author's been doing it for years. This is this has been a known thing. Uh, Weird. Recently, I think, I don't know if this debacle got like solved or something, I think it was Latin Author was claiming official Nintendo songs from N Nintendo games. <laughs> and and especially, I think Nintendo was like, uh, no, oh, yeah. something like that. I think it might have actually been Nintendo that was doing that, maybe, I don't know. I shouldn't talk so much about things I don't know. Interesting. I mean, but, I'm sure there's some like legal loophole. Yes, I'm sure there are plenty I guess, of loopholes. Yeah, I guess, <laughs> I mean, I said it was like Brazil. Yeah. So maybe, maybe actually not. Maybe they just don't give a shit, like China, where they just don't give a shit about our copyright laws. Yeah. Let me try the bell one more time, just, just in case. Someone said because Google is a horrible company and YouTube should explode. Wow. Quite simply put. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Quite simply put. We're not licensed to use the songs in our vids. I don't know if that's japes, but uh. Free, fair use is a thing <laughs> that exists. Unless your video is offering to be an alternative to the actual thing, it is protected by fair use laws. And YouTube outright ignores fair use laws all the fucking time. Constantly. Oh my god, I always get hit by two of them. Gotta, wow. gotta get away and heal when we're, uh, we're getting yeeted. Yeah, I like watched a bunch of people, like a bunch of videos like explaining how like the copyright system works. And I still don't quite understand it, but I like kind well, of it, got the gist of it. It detects, they have all these little bots 
that scrub every video that gets uploaded to find audio that matches up with anything they have in their massive, massive database. Yep. And it scrubs the video and audio because movies can get claimed by the video. Yeah, I think that's kind of newer. Yeah. And uh, if you... There's like several different degrees of it. You can get a copyright claim, which just means they take all your monetization on that video, or if it wasn't monetized, they monetize it and start taking the money. Okay. Uh, and then there's a copyright strike, which is like a big no-no. And if you get three of those on your channel, then you're like, you're going to get a... Uh, what do they even call it? You're going to get like... What happens when you do the taxes wrong? And the tax fraud. And the tax people come and audit! Uh, audited. I hate having... Something about having a word on the tip of your tongue and you just can't fucking think of it is like the worst feeling ever to me. I don't know what it is about it. I, I get like angry at my own brain. So close. Because I'm just like, ah, it's the word that I'm thinking! <laughs> it's just in my brain! Shut up! Say it! Audit. They're gonna fucking like audit you and... That's like if you use a Kanye West song. You get in trouble. Yeah! Yeah, that's uh, I used the song Champion for the Captain Falcon montage I made in Smash 4, and that video got outright blocked off of YouTube. Yep. And I had to re-edit the montage with different music that didn't work nearly as well. Yep. And the original montage is uh, still up on Vimeo, though, because Vimeo has no such blockage. Yeah, I see. I just, it's like anybody who's, who's like has the money to afford like big lawyers will put slam the big ones on you. Using a Tay-Tay song or a Beatles song or something. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I got two videos just straight removed from my shitpost channel, large mm -hmm. shitposts, and one had a Kanye song, and one yep. had my friend Sid killing JFK, so I understand why that one got taken down. Whoops. Well, take us... Nice. Take us the bird. Take us all the way there. What is their weapon? They got a little jagged no, dagger. Please. Wow. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Tekkis! I guess like deep in this guy's ass. Cause he's just his deep in the ass of Marta Ligarius. That sounds just as good. <laughs> he could boom. Big boom too, so get like a fucking mile away. How did Texas? Oh, Texas knows the frame. The frame <laughs> pixel. Apparently. He has not summoned his cluster of swords. Or wait, yeah. has he? No, he's so. got like tethers going up into the sky. He's the real celestial emissary. There you go. Your sword is enough. That didn't seem to like cause us too much distress last time. Yeah, it was just kind of a bugaboo. I think they just all flew out at once. Yeah, that was weird. Somebody did say the boss wasn't working properly because uh, of like lag or something when we summoned that last time. So maybe that's maybe the swords were just there for way too long. Interesting. <laughs> Some of that move looks very broken. Rumble. It's like very jank. All right, Martyr Lagarius, you're out of here. Dead. You've been truly martyred. He's dead and oh. gone from there. Tekus died. Tekus was the sword in the end. What the fuck? But <laughs> Tekus did what they had to do. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tekus. We'll never forget you. All right, yeah, 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 we did it. Oh. What is that? I don't... Or is that just a? Oh. oh. Crown of illusions, Michael. Okay. Okay. In the heart, yeah. Oh, yeah. there's just the goddamn ocean. Wow, beautiful. So, okay, I guess this is another fucking... All these bosses are always dead ends. Yeah. That is one thing I that Dark Souls had a little bit Better. more of, was, like, the, the areas were... It was almost a little more linear. Yeah. Okay, um... Cool. Look, me. look Tekus is in there. Yay, Woo! thank you, Tekus. I honestly think killing yourself as your, like, last will and testament is better than surviving the fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe they used the uh, hunter's mark. Okay, let's put on the hat. Fuck it. The I don't know if it's a hat, actually. Oh, it is. Illusions, Michael. Wow. Wow, we're very regal. Also, it was a gold item. I don't know if you've ever seen a gold item. Yeah. All right. Okay. So. Uh, should we call it quits? Yeah, it feels like a good stopping spot. <clears throat> Lagarius is seeked. What are you uh, somebody, okay, well, somebody did say go back to the arena with the crown. Okay. And I'm kind of tempted to do that. Should we put the crown on when we're in the arena? Maybe. Yeah, did we break his chair? I think we broke his- Oh! Oh! There is something. Alright, thank you, chat. That was one time that was- a... <laughs> I don't know if he would've known. It's 
Seems to be like another boss. Whoa! Huh? The carriage is gonna take us back. There's like a new castle in front of us. Wait, what? Huh? Like... Wait, that wasn't just a wall to nothing. There's a whole other castle there. Okay, well, fuck, I take back what I said about this not about this being a dead end. Wow. Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Neat. I had to do something weird. I, I I would not have known to do that. So. Apparently, the item description like says it. Yeah, maybe. But so we probably would have maybe read that. We, we tend to read it. These horses are on like. Oh, I thought they were on like wheels. I thought like, they were on wheels horse. too. Like weird. Squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. Chess pieces. Kneel a for us. Maybe if you talk like a normal fucking person, we'll kneel a for oh, you. Be gone. Get the ass out of here. Mmm, scented. <laughs> Is that, is that Moon? Queen. Annalise! Oh, I guess we just killed her husband, probably. He was like frozen out there, so clearly they weren't getting along. <laughs> oh. oh! Do we become a freaking vile blood? Yeah, sure. Yeah. We already Screw squashed it. the bug for that one guy. An odd hunter, thou. I want to be evil. Sure! You will swear the oath. Drink deep. Sure! Yeah, sure, fuck it. Yeah, give me your blood, yeah. From far away like that somehow. That was really weird. <laughs> it was very far away blood giving. Um, so I really doubt this is the place to do the taunt or whatever. Oh, no, there. yeah, no way. That's gonna be somewhere Some, else. Maybe in the cave? It. Unopened summons, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, let's see. We got summoned here to start, so. Yeah. Like the first of its kind, it's an invitation to the Canehurst. Mm. But for whom is not known, and it lacks an address. Huh. An adresse. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Very Bit of war. mysterious, yeah. Neat! Cool. Alright, well this was something. I guess it still is kind of a dead end, but... Yeah, but something happened Something least. happened. Yes. Okay, yeah, so we gotta figure out what's up with patches. Oh yeah, we never... We should go... Maybe next stream... Find where he was hanging I there. will find... I'll try to like find where he was hanging, yeah. So we didn't do... We blazed through some areas, and that was one of them. Yeah. All right, but that's a good place to call it. Yeah. So he looks like I imagine Elokar would look. Is that a fucking Stormlight reference? Huh? It totally is. Alakar? I don't even see that. Oh. I think that's from Stormlight. Well, the main character of Castlevania Symphony of the Night is named Alucard because it's Dracula backwards. <laughs> yeah. Fucking let that sink in. He's named Alucard. Alucard.